ChatGPT just launched Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro, and by the end of this video, you're gonna know why everybody's freaking out about this, but I want you to judge for yourself whether or not it's actually justified, because I'm gonna show you how you can actually access these, how to use them to the best of their capabilities, and what we're gonna do is with four different prompts, compare this to VO3 in order to see which one's actually better. Okay, so in the past, you were able to come directly in the ChatGPT and you would see Sora actually load right here, but that's not how this works anymore. In order to access Sora now, you're gonna have to come to sora.chatgpt.com slash explore. And you're gonna see that this is now a social media app, which is pretty cool for a few different reasons. First and foremost, if we click up here, you will be able to see a For You page. You will be able to see content from the people that you follow. You'll be able to see the top content and the latest content. And when you actually do this, it switches what this actually goes through and what this looks like. Let right? me tell you something, okay? In addition to that, you don't get if we rich. come over here and actually click into something, you will be able to see what prompt actually created what it is that you're looking at. You will be able to download it from here, you'll be able to see less like these, you'll be able to report it, you could like it, or you could remix it. If you click on remix right here, what this does is allows you to make changes to something that already exists, which is pretty cool because this is going to become like inception of ideas where like somebody creates something, somebody else creates something off of that thing, somebody else creates a thing off of that thing, off of that thing, and this is gonna get pretty crazy pretty quickly. In addition to that, you can see all the different remixes right here, which is a pretty cool feature. Now, in addition to that, you could come over here and actually do a search for people, for example, RPN, if we do a search for him, we can actually find him, and this is how you find people on Sora. You'll be able to see all of your notifications right here, and if you click right here, you will be able to see your actual page, where you could set up a name, you could set up a username, a bio, you could see how many people have liked your content, remixed your content, followed you, and you come over here and actually create different cameos. For example, I have this cameo right here. Personally, I think it looks absolutely nothing like me. I think it sounds absolutely nothing like me, but you're actually able to do that and we could come through and create more cameos if we wanted to. In addition, we could see our posts. We could see all the different things that we liked right here. Now, if you click over here, what you're gonna notice if you come into settings is there are a few things that you could do here. We have data controls. We have parental controls right here if you wanted to use those. Other than that, there's not much else to do here besides use personal personalize to explore and improve the model for everybody. I would suggest that you have both of these turned on. Now, if we come back over here into invites, we could see I actually have two invites remaining. So at the time of this video, try to use this code and you'll be able to get access to Sora, but right now it's invite only. But here's the way that it works. Everybody that gets invited also gets more invites. So it's kind of growing pretty rapidly right now, which is pretty cool. Now, in terms of actually creating content, what you could do is you can come over here and we can choose between Sora 2 Pro or Sora 2. In order to have Sora 2 Pro, you need to be on a pro plan right now, but otherwise you just get access to Sora 2. If we come over to Sora 2, we could see that we could come over here. You could change the orientation either from portrait to landscape or the duration is going to be stuck at 10 seconds inside of Sora 2. If we come over to Sora 2 Pro, we could come over here, we can change the orientation, we could change the resolution, and we can also change the duration here to be 15 seconds if we wanted to. Other than that, you literally just come over here and you can add in a bunch of cameos. So if you wanted to make Sam Altman do something or make me do something or have like a bunch of people in a video, you will be able to do that. And then you just type out exactly what you want and this goes off and builds it. Now, in addition to that, we can click on this plus sign right here and you can add in photos here, but you need to make sure that the photos that you add fit a certain criteria. They don't want children uploaded. They don't want things without permission uploaded or stuff like that. But here's how it works. We come over here and we could describe something. For example, a cat taking a fish from PetSmart and running out and being chased. And then what this is going to go through and do is this is going to go through and actually now create that. And what we will be able to see is if we come over into our account, we could see that this is actually pending and this is actually being created right here. Now, I haven't really noticed a massive difference yet between Sora 2 Pro and Sora 2. For example, I actually had this video created right here in Sora 2 Pro. Let's check it out. Pulled you over. I'm gonna need to see your license and registration. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Look, buddy, you can't be doing... Okay, so this right here is where I have an issue with this. I'm paying $200 a month for this. This is Sora 2 Pro. And look at this. It has the dog correct. It has the police officer. What happened to the rest of the car? I can't believe that little things like this are happening when I use Sora 2 Pro because you would think that that shouldn't actually exist. Now we could come in here, we could post this, we could change what this description is, we could download this or delete this or remix this if we wanted to, but I think what we actually need to get into now is comparing this to VO3 because I've seen so many people on the internet freaking out about Sora, but personally, I don't think it's justified. Now before we compare both Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro to VO3, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Okay, for prompt number one, what we're going to do, we're going to come over here into Sora 2 and we are going to describe a video that we want created. I put create a street interview asking people what they think of baseball lifestyles, latest clothing drop. So we're going to give this to Sora over here. Again, we could come over and we could actually watch these be created. As you can see right here, this is a Sora 2 Pro video that we're having created. It takes an incredibly long time to actually create videos. It literally takes like minutes. Now, if we come over here into Flow, which is how we can access VO3, we could come over here and we could just put text to video and we could come over here and actually choose the model. And we could see we could use VO3 fast or VO3 quality. For the sake of this, I'm going to use VO3 fast because I want to show you how big of a difference there is in terms of speed between these different models. So we can see right here that this is already approaching 10%. If we come over to Sora, this is still loading. And it takes an incredibly long period of time for Sora to actually generate content. And again, I don't think that the quality that you get from this is actually good enough in order to justify how long it actually takes. But I want you guys to be the judge of this because I have three other prompts that we're going to use. We're going to go through several prompts to see which one actually does best. Now, if we come back over into flow right here, we can see, again, this is continuing very steady does things very quickly. If we come over to Sora, we are still waiting and we are waiting a really long time for this Sora 2 Pro video. Okay, so now we could see that this is actually done. We could see that Sora is still loading and let's actually check this out and then I'm gonna tell you a few things that I really like with this. What are your initial thoughts on Baseball Lifestyle's latest clothing drop? I mean, I love it. <laughs> what are your initial thoughts? Okay, so a few things here. This looks hyper realistic. There's stuff going on in the background. What I also really love is that it actually added Baseball Lifestyle to her shirt and added Baseball Lifestyle here, which is pretty awesome. Now, if we wanted to, we could actually add to this scene so we can go through and generate more, which is why I really like VO3 because they have these tools already built out. Now, if we come back over to Sora right here, we could see that it looks like my drafts Okay, so these are done here. Now let's check this out. What do you think of Baseball Lifestyle's new drop? It's so clean. I love the neutrals and the little hit of sky blue. The pine tar hoodie? I need that. The embroidered patch is fire. I don't even watch baseball, but that canvas jacket? Chef's kiss. Okay, so we could see that the last person that it interviewed had nothing to do with this. It's kind of cool how dynamic it is, how much it changes, how much it shifts. But I mean, look at the quality of this video compared to the quality of this video. The quality on this video is way better. It added in those nice touches. And again, I just don't think that this is worth the wait. And then if we wanted to actually add things onto this, we wouldn't be able to, we would have to remix it. Now, I do wanna show you that Sora 2 Pro video that we actually created earlier, because check this out. This is pretty funny. Hey, stop, cat, drop the fish. Come back here. That's not yours. Sir, did you see a cat? Oh, never mind. Cat. Ugh. Okay, so this is funny, but again, this is Sora 2 Pro, this is HD, this video doesn't look high def, this video had a few glitches in it, and again, for $200 a month, I don't think this is worth it, but let's try with some other prompts. Okay, so the next prompt that we have here is create a video of a cat doing the 2C slide, and again, this is already done here. This over here is still going through and creating it, but it is going a little bit faster. But let's actually check out how good of a job this did right here. Okay, so 
I don't really think that that's that great. It's not what I wanted, if you guys know what the 2C slide is. But again, this is a high quality video. It isn't necessarily low quality, but let's see what Sora generated here. Okay, so from here, we could come over here. Slide to the left, pause down low, glide to the right, keep smooth. And see that this did a better job for what I wanted. So I wanted the cat to like actually be dancing. I think that this does do a better job of that and actually displaying that. Um, it doesn't really look super hyper realistic though. I don't know why the cat is wearing a sweatshirt. Um, again, I think that this is more so funny than anything. Um, if we come back over here to flow, I'm also getting this to create a video of a cat taking a fish from PetSmart, people chasing it. But another thing that I did want to call out here is this expand feature right here, which is brand new. It allows you to expand the prompt, AKA actually make a better prompt. I think that that is also something that Sora is missing because right now it's just relying on people's creativity. And for a lot of people, they don't actually know how to prompt things. So if there's not a prompt enhancer or there's not a prompt expander, I think that it will eventually lead to worse things actually happening. So what we're having over here, this is almost done. I am also going to build another scene with VO3 to match this video that I did over here with the Cavalier getting pulled over by the cops to see if it fixes the bugs that Sora created with it. Okay, so now we could actually see this video here. We could see that this cat is like coming out of this fish tank right here. They're in PetSmart right here and let's see. Hey, get back here with that fish. Ha ha, go get him. <laughs> Okay, so this actually really messed up VO3. Nothing about this video was realistic, so I would say that Sora actually won with this one. But let's do one more project where we get it to do the Cavalier getting pulled over one. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm gonna do this inside of Gemini, but we're using the same exact model here. The free account that I was just using ran out of credits with Flow, so I'm gonna do this from Gemini. But another thing that I did want to call out here, and again, the reason that I'm so harsh on these is because you see stuff all over X, you see stuff all over YouTube, and it's not realistic for what's actually being generated with these things. Because it might have taken somebody 10 prompts, 100 prompts, 50 prompts in order to actually get the thing that is being generated. And I'm being hard on this because I want to be realistic around what you could actually do with AI. I mean, a lot of the automation stuff, that actually works. Like prompt engineering stuff, that actually works. LLMs, that really works. These videos are a cool party trick, but I don't think that these are actually anywhere near prime time yet. Okay, so now we can see what this actually looks like right here. I think it's funny that it put the dog in a really small car, but let's see how this actually plays out. Okay, so again, I think that that's fine. I don't like this for different reasons as to why I don't like the Sora one. This one looks more realistic, but again, it was all jacked up. This one right here, not super realistic. We don't have the dog barking, stuff like that. So again, probably should have been more specific with the prompt, but the main takeaway here is, again, I don't think that these video models are really all that great yet. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest that you check out this video right here that walks you through another one of ChatGPT's latest updates that you probably missed. I'll see you over there.